I would like to shout out two of our Patreon supporters today. Thank you to the wonderful DG Reaper, first of all. Again, so long supporting us. It's amazing that you have for so long. We really do appreciate you, Reaper. Thank you for being an amazingly beautiful Nomkin and allowing these long plays to be made possible. Of course, I also want to shout out another long-term patron, Oliver Chatfield. It's been a fucking crazy amount of time you've been subscribed to. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for being amazingly, wonderfully beautiful, all of you. Thank you so much, Reaper and Oliver. It's fantastic. Make sure you check out our producer, Alice, of course, as well. Her links are on screen right about now. Make sure you are following her, supporting her, doing all you can for her, because, again, she helps make these long plays possible. This is D. It was nominated by Alice, and it uh, has won the poll here. So I hope you guys enjoy both endings of this really unusual relic of the past that we are about to experience. Hi guys, and welcome to D. This is a FMV horror game that came out on PS1 and Sega Saturn, I believe, back in the day. <clears throat> Hi guys, it's Minx here. Today we are playing D. This is a horror game that was originally released on the Panasonic 3DO in 1995. It later was ported to the Sega Saturn, PlayStation, and MS-DOS PC. It is actually currently also available on Steam with a slightly upscaled remastered version that you can play on there for Windows. Anyway, we are playing the PS1 version here. Uh, this game is unique because it takes 90 minutes to finish. If you don't finish in 90 minutes, you fail and you have to start again. You cannot save in this game. But let's watch this opening cutscene. This is something. I, I'm not. I know I'm not speaking. I'm trying to let it play out, but this is. This is. This is. This is something. <laughs> I can't wait. But yeah, we have 90 minutes to beat this, guys, or um, we fail and have to start again. The game has two endings. Because I'm playing on a special PlayStation in this instance, um, I am going to be able to save which I wouldn't be able to do normally, which is going to make things a lot easier in terms of being able to progress, even if it takes me a few tries to get through the game overall. This is, this is something- I feel like it's spoiling every fucking cutscene in this opening sequence. Anyway guys, this is going to be a bit of a roller coaster, a short but um, exciting roller coaster. <laughs> there is a sequel to this as well, by the way. Uh, D2, it is a Dreamcast exclusive that maybe we'll play at some point. But for now, we're going to jump in. It 
The scene has been set. Laura has arrived at this hospital that, to uh, find out why her dad has become a serial killer and killed loads of people inside it. Something to do with D's, I'm guessing. This is a weirdly quiet game, by the way, I don't know. Jesus. The chances of me getting through this in one run, probably not going to happen, but the idea is I'll learn and uh, be able to beat it in one or two runs, you know what I mean? Um, what the fuck is this? And why are you so remarkably unfazed by the fact there is a giant gelatinous jelly thing in front of you? Dun dun dun! <clears throat> oh, now we're in a castle. Alright guys, time to start exploring. Everything is very, very slow in this game, I will say. There are also these secret hidden beetles that you can find, like this one here, that will unveil secrets of the past and give a bit more atmosphere to the game. You don't need to find them all to get any either of the endings, but, you know, it'll show us an FMV if I do. We have two hours, by the way, not 90 minutes, to get through the game. Mm-mm-mm. Mmm, delicious. Whatever the fuck this is. This is really a relic of the time, this game. Holy shit. The fact this is a Panasonic game initially is nuts. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, talk about a failed format. Anyway. I'm going to be very slowly wandering around this castle. This game is incredibly slow, like, holy shit. Just so you know. Like, this is the max, this is our top walking speed. There will be cutscenes, obviously, and things like that, and when we're under pressure, things will change, but, you know. Oh, spooky dookie. <gasps> Blood? I mean, jam? It's probably nothing. Alright, anyway. Let's, uh... Gradually, slowly make our way forward at a minuscule of a pace of speed. Laura. 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 This is your father. Dun dun dun! Laura, go back. You must not cross over to this side. This is another world born of my own mind. Laura, go back. Come further and your world will be closed off from you. Laura, I'm... Everything's fine. That's the first time she's reacted, more than just being like, Oh, alright. Alright, daddykins, don't worry about it. Alright, let's go in here. Very slowly. 
I don't know how the time limit applies and when the time limit is moving and that kind of thing, you know what I mean? It's just a question of like... Oh, it's a mirror, fuck. That actually got me. I was like, what the fuck is that? Whew. It's very hard to tell what I'm looking at a lot of the time here, I'm going to be honest with you. Could be anything. Oh. Oh. Spooky hand. What am I even looking at? Is it is it a hand on the side of a mirror? Oh, it is. I've got a feeling this game has quick... I want to say this game has quick time events. I'm not sure. We have a room with wonderful barrels in it. Tea heap. Oh god, that looks bad. Might be dead bad. <laughs> Guess we're not quite there yet. Inches from death, but we're okay. I guess we're not going forward. I don't know if we should keep going that way or if that's a warning sign not to go that way. But anyway, there's a way upstairs here, so let's go upstairs. Alright, what do we have here? Let's have a look around. We're gonna be exploring. We're gonna be spooky dookie. Hello? Anyone here? <laughs> this is great. It's so cheesy. Holy shit. Thank you, patrons, for voting on how crazy this is. I probably won't be saying that once I'm replaying it for like the tenth time to try and get an ending, but. Generally speaking. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! Alright, let's go through here. <laughs> so, we also, in our inventory right now, we have a clock to keep track of the time. Uh, we also have a, uh, hint key, which gives you a hint on what to do, but you can only use it X number of times. The more you use it, the more it's likely to shatter. Um, I'm not going to use it if I can possibly get away with it, I'm going to be honest with you. I wanted you to use this, Laura. Oh, I see. I have a piece of paper. Dun dun dun. Oh my god, it's so easy to back away from this without meaning to. It's very fiddly controls. I want to check in here again because I think we can get a secret if we do. Nope, I was wrong. Alright, anyway, this is the first puzzle we need to solve. Um, but for now, we're going to step away. Like I said, I'm fully expecting to have to fail this run. If that makes sense. And then have to, like, um, redo all this again. But it's okay. Because once you know what you're doing, it's going to be easier as well. So sometimes to get to certain areas of the rooms, you have to angle yourself, like you'll have to walk back towards the door and then get a better perspective on the room. If that makes any sense. Hey, a key. Grab it. And 
Another reason why I might fail this time is you can skip large chunks of this once you know the solutions, and obviously I've got to walk through so I can see the solutions, but um, because I'm doing a playthrough, I want to show you the solutions, so that's another reason I'm likely to fail is because I could, I could actually solve the puzzle up here now and save a bunch of time, but um, because I want to show you the walkthrough, I'm not going to do that, you know what I mean? Which is why a second playthrough is likely. I think you can beat this in like 20 minutes though if you know what you're doing and you bypass the, the, the you know, the puzzles as it were. So like, uh... I just wish it was slightly faster because it is cripplingly slow. And we have to go back up to those chest of drawers in a minute, alright? Nah, it's not the end of the world. But, you know, if you're in for a fa if you like fast paced gameplay, guys, D is not going to be it. D is not D1 for you. <laughs> Alright, we're going to attempt to use the inventory system here. It's probably going to go really fucking wrong. Alright, so I need to put the paper we found in the drawer in here, in this water bowl. But I'm not entirely sure how. Hmm. None of the buttons I'm pressing are working. It's a great start, guys. How do I access my inventory? Well. Okay, I guess I need to be on this screen. I'll get there in the end, probably. Okay. Yeah, we got there. Okay. R is use inventory. And this is going to give us... We need to open door 4 and 3 in that order upstairs. The puzzle solutions never change. So in the future, if I was playing this a second time, which I invariably will, I can open door 4 and 3 immediately as soon as I get up to that room and it's done. If that makes sense. I mean, I might still be able to beat it. It's a very short game. But in time, the first run, but I think it's unlikely. So back upstairs we go, by the way. I am going to cheese a little bit here, I think. To bypass excessive amounts of uh, wasted time. No rush lore. I mean, it's not like you're under the pressures of time or anything and you know, the game will end. I don't actually know what happens if the game ends. I don't, know if it, I don't think it gives you another ending. I think the game just literally just ends. I don't think it's a particularly exciting thing. There's a good and bad ending when you get to the finale, but it's like your choice, if that makes sense. All right, so we need to open drawers four and then two. Oh my god, she went away from it. That's so annoying. If I tap back, it goes back. I'll try again. Four. This might kill me. Right, now I'll leave it a second. Come on. And then two. And this should get me an item. Huzzah. I like the music, it's so fucking ridiculous, it really is. Alright, we're done with this, excellent. 
And now we can step away. Off we go. But yeah, we're going to cheese a little bit here, guys, all right? Because there's a few things that we can do to uh, speed things up a little bit. So, you're meant to use this um, item I just picked up to winch back the spiked wall in the barrel room. So you can progress further that way, which we still need to do. But if you go that way now, there'll be a locked door with a number on it, a number 78, okay? And you can get the key for that in advance by opening a safe. Um, so, um, we're going to do that now and open the safe first to get the key for the 78 door in advance. You're meant to go and look at the door to get the number 78 to know that's the combination, but we're going to kind of cheese it. I don't know if she'll automatically unlock this door. I, this is for the, I need the key from under the fireplace for this one. I guess I need to use it. Hmm, what's a key? Wrong one. This. Dun dun dun. Why is his arm in the wall? Oh, it's a bedroom. I thought it was like a dungeon. It's so fucking dark in here. Holy shit. I'll up the brightness on this video, guys. It won't be amazing, but I'll up it at least somewhat so you guys can see it better. Another problem is you don't often know where you're going to walk. Alright, we now have a safe to fuck with, unfortunately for us. Hmm. Oh my god, this took me like fucking 20 minutes to get open. But, uh, I replayed the entire first chapter to get this perfect, so... I've just blasted through the first chapter in about, uh, five minutes. We got a ring, which we need to open the door with 78 on it, which is upstairs. Not upstairs, it is upstairs actually, yes. You're going to see the barrel spike trap again because uh, I haven't actually been in that room yet this time around. But I was like, I'm replaying this section because otherwise I'm going to be here for literally fucking years. But I did it. It's beaten. And I think uh, probably about 10 minutes spent, sorry, at most on this uh, section as we move into disc 2 very shortly. Dun dun dun. Hopefully this all goes numb. Hmm. <laughs> all right, so now we need to go into the barrel room on our right here. The spike trap is going to go off, I think, but it's okay. Probably okay. It's probably okay. I don't know if it's okay, I've got to be honest with you. Watch me fucking die. Can I just use this? Let me just try. This. No, I cannot. So I guess trigger this first, and then we'll see what happens. Dun dun dun! Dun 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 dun! I love her face in this scene. It's fucking great. It's one of the best, like, not come come faces I've ever seen. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Look how happy she is. Oh my god. Bless her cotton socks. So we need to get to that door over there. But every time it'll keep doing this until we, like, winch it back into position. At least I believe so. 
I think we need to go all the way up to this and then use that thing. There we go. The fact that it's going ha 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 means it's good news. All right. See? Perfect. No chance of death now. The game does have, I think, quite a lot of one-hit kill death scenarios, so I'm going to make sure that I, um... Uh... Cheese save fairly frequently, otherwise I think there's no way I'm going to get through this in one piece without losing my fucking mind. I vaguely remember a fight sequence with quick time events, and the most garbage quick time events I think I've ever seen in my life, so... We'll see. I don't know what it's like to play, if that makes any sense, but yeah. Anyway, there's the door with 78 on. You're meant to look at this door and be like, oh, that's what I need to put in the safe that I already opened. You know, but we, we, we save time by, um, by not doing that. And now we go there. The delay on the controls is actually nuts. There's like, I would say like a two second delay from when you press it to when it actually does it. Gonna be changing disc in a minute. This game is on three discs on the PS1. I, uh, assuming it was on the Saturn as well. I don't know about the Panasonic, but this is bad. Please let me be a quick. Oh my god, you can buck! Holy shit! She's fast as fuck. She's like Sonic. We can't go back. You're not going to move it. You weigh like 80 pounds. What the fuck? It's going to be a new disc now, I believe. All right, we're a third of the way through the game already. All right. New area. Let's go. Not entirely sure what I need to look at at the moment, but we're going to look around and see. Creepy picture of a child. Oh, okay, I don't like that. Oh, that's a solution to a puzzle, I think. But it's in the most bullshit position possible. Hmm. I wish I could tell what I'm looking at half the time. <laughs> This fucking game? Like, I genuinely don't know. I don't want to go to the door. I want to go to the, like, the thing on the table next to you. This thing. I want to look around the room. But the game's like, no, you need to walk slowly around in a circle and get in the right position. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? It's alright, we got there in the end. What am I doing? I think this is going to be... The rooster was at the top. So one more. I think. I think. If I'm right, these doors here should just open now, if that's in the right position. I'm pretty sure that's right. Or I may have to do look at this once and then do it. Oh no, we're making progress. Oh, 
Okay. What do we have in here? Bodies? Yeah, of course. It's just fucking everywhere. What's been going on here? I'm just having a party. Take the key. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. What a lovely room. I can never tell if I can back out of a room or I have to turn to leave. It's it's very hard to gauge. But we're making progress, and that is more than I could expect in a game like this, I'm gonna be honest with you. So uh There's a, there should be I, I, every, I don't want to go that way, but I don't want to go this way either. What the fuck? It's like there's two options to look at. The door or the other door. I want to go further into this room. It must be I have to go here and then turn again. Which is incredibly annoying, but it is what it is. Product of its time. Can't be too I can be as mad as I fucking like, actually. Fuck you. Alright, let's check out in here now. Going back into this room. There's probably something locked in here. Probably that desk in front of me, actually. That would make a lot of sense. I say as I start leaving the fucking room. Drunkenly lurching across. I don't want to go over here. I want to look at the desk. Nope. Apparently that is a no-go. That is the only place I can go to that. This is going to make me leave the room, isn't it? Oh, maybe not. Maybe it makes me take another step here. Oh my god. It's right. Okay. Let's get nice and close. Now we're going to use the gold key. Or not. Oh, we need to use even... We need to get even closer. We need to be licking it. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god. That should give us, I think, the book for the bookcase in the next room, which will open a secret door. All right, let's see how badly this goes. I just want to leave the room. I just want to leave the room and put the bookcase in the bookcase. Shocking, I know. I'm definitely going to have to replay this, but that's okay. Far too much farting around, looking at nothing <laughs> when I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in an oddly good mood for playing a game this jank, though, I will say. I guess I need to go further in again. Oh my god, this would take so much! You spend most of the time just looking left and right! Laura. Hi. Quickly! 
I mean, I'm not in the hospital right now. Daddykins. You'll never be able to return to your own world. Do you understand, Laura? Quickly! Too late. I could have played Laura. All I have to do is gasp occasionally. Was it meant to be the bus there talking to me? I wasn't really sure. His face was all blobby. I think it was about the fireplace, actually. Whatever. Let's press ourselves to the bookcase, put this bookcase, put this book in. And continue. Hey, we saw that in the opening sequence. It spoiled everything. It spoiled the puzzle. We're about to get locked into this area. I'm pretty sure the game's fight is coming up, and I'm dreading it because I don't know how good I'm going to be. Watch this take- this might take me hours. Days. Years. Alright. So. This device in front of me. The number of times you turn it gives you access to different rooms. You actually only need to go to a few rooms. And as we're just trying to finish the game, I'm only going to go to a few rooms, okay? We need to do it ten times. Exciting stuff, I know. Ten fucking- I'm not kidding, by the way. Ten times for the first thing. The fact that this is a thing is makes my head hurt. Hang on, is it just going back now? Do I have to keep mashing it or it doesn't count? Probably. One. Why are you letting go of it? Oh, does he- do you just keep doing it until I press the button? One. I don't understand. What the fuck? I think this is the right way forward. Could be. Might not be. Don't know. Yes, it is. Okay. Fight time. This is going to go so badly, guys. Hi! <laughs> I pressed that immediately and it didn't count. Are you fucking kidding me? No fucking way. You waste time every time this happens, basically. I pressed the right thing there, I'm sure. Immediately. Oh shit. We're hanging in there. We're not done yet. We're so fucked. Oh my god. Yeah, for 
first time. Well, not first time, actually. Second time. I swear it didn't work the first time. There's nothing inside the suit. Dun dun dun! Dun 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 dun! Except my dopey face. Okay, we need the sword. That's why we had to come down here, by the way. Alright, back to the thing now, and we need to uh, use the fucking boring machine again um, to uh, continue. This takes so long. Like, we're talking like three minutes to get to the fucking door you need. It's absolutely ridiculous that this was like, they were like, yeah, this is fine. Laura. Oh, fuck off. I can feel my control slipping away. Quickly, before that happens, you must leave here. I want you, of all people, to be safe from me. Laura, there's nothing I can... Wow, thanks. <laughs> More awkward breathing, what the fuck? <laughs> right, I'll be back in a minute, guys. Think I'm in the right place? Probably am. Maybe not. Possibly. We're looking for an outside garden area here. Can't tell if this is it or not. Almost impossible to gauge what I'm looking at, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's just a smear. No, this is right. So, if you go in the tower in the middle here, you can look at different star signs. But I feel this is pretty self-explanatory even without looking at the star signs. So we have two statues here, right? We have uh, Sagittarius and I think, uh, I want to say Pisces. Uh, and you have to press the corresponding button that matches them, right? So that's green and- it's green and blue. Okay. Which is not... I don't, I don't think that's very unusual. So that should be... Right, I think. And then... Oh, it's, it's Aquarius. And Aquarius is going to be... Um, it's going to be blue. So green and blue. And then that should hopefully... Solve the puzzle. Now, is it light blue or dark blue? Light blue. There we go. And that's the puzzle solved. You, you can spend like an extra 10 minutes here just fucking around in the tower, looking at the star signs, but I think green and blue is the colours I choose to correspond to those, those signs anyway, if that makes any sense. Right, this is a different room, by the way. We now need to go all the way back to that other room and spin the lever ten times again, which is going to take literally about two minutes to do, which is insane. And then we have to do it even more after that. On the plus side, though, we're getting through. And I think we have plenty of time to get a good ending. Yeah, so if you go in that tower on the left there, that's where you can get the star signs and determine what colour goes where. But you don't need to. Sagittarius I always associate with green and Aquarius I associate with blue. Maybe like you need to get the cult like the phase of blue, but you could just brute force it with two. It's not it's not a difficult puzzle. Um I know it's kind of cheesing it, but it saves me time and saves me fucking around with the telescope looking for star signs in slow motion for 25 minutes. Anyway, I'll be back once we get to the next area. Wonderful, huh? Let's have a look. Hopefully this is the right door. If it isn't, I'm kind of fucked. Probably is. God. 
That takes like three minutes to spin that the right number of times to get it open. If you didn't know what you were doing, you would waste so much fucking time in this game. Holy shit. Fortunately, we're nearly at the end of disc uh, two, which is pretty much the bulk of the game. Like, disc three is very short. Hey! Excellent. So this, if we hadn't filled the fountain up, this would be at the bottom of the well and we couldn't reach it. But we get the gun, which is going to be crucial for getting the good ending of the game. It's also crucial for finishing disc two, so, you know, there's a, there is that as well. Oh my god, guys. And I don't think I even need to cut away here, because we're going to go back up here, right? We do need to use the device one more time, but we only need to spend it three times. And then we'll be done with disc. And we have, as far as I'm, I'm aware, we have... Laura. Shut up! Laura! My new self will have need of you. This other self is one I cannot control. It is he who has done these horrible things. Laura, leave here. He wants you. I wish I had a fucking clue what was going on. <laughs> Be honest with you, I, I know I've, I've missed a bunch of the bugs, although I thought they'd be easier to find. I have been like checking periodically places, but I haven't seen any. Um, <laughs> regardless, they, they mainly just add like spooky ambience, so it's not that big a deal. Okay. We're going to spin this three times. One. Imagine it, I have, I've had to spin this, by the way, up to this point about 25 times to get all the areas we've been to. It's so slow! It should be illegal for something to be this slow in a video game. I'm very glad the fight with the knight went way better than I thought it was going to go. I'm going to be honest with you. Alright. That should, theoretically, give us access to the final area of disc 2. There's a door, so it's promising. I think it's just like a brick wall if you don't have the, uh, if you, if you go to the wrong floor. Yeah, this is the right place. An impenetrable barrier of a stained glass window. Whatever shall we do, guys? Well, the answer is, of course, Press the use key. Find the gun that I'm pretty sure I picked up and shoot the fuck out of the window. The drama! Oh yeah! Get fucked, window. Get fucked. Oh wow, it's recapping. Exciting stuff. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, we're high up! I had no idea! Alright, up we go. Oh my god, Pretzel agrees that this is super intense. So I haven't found any more bugs, by the way, guys. I've been really aware of the time limit and freaking out most of the time. And a lot of them seem to be RNG, whether they show up or not, I'm going to be honest with you. Because, like, I have some of the locations, and I've checked the locations, and there's nothing there. And I don't know if I'm just too fast, or too slow, or... You know what I mean? Like, I just don't know. But whatever. Uh, we get the gist of what's going on, at least. Laura! Laura! Oh, wow. Laura. How dare you? 
I'm guessing we're locked in. Yeah. Definitely need to up the brightness on this, because holy fucking shit, it's dark. Like, astonishingly dark. I'm sorry Pretzel has both been so much, by the way, but it's only because she loves you all so much. Oh, my God. She told me, oh, my God, you're all my favorite people. Anyway, we're going to head down here into the pitch black. Excellent. We're pretty much done, by the way. We have, like, three rooms of the whole game left. I will get both endings, because I should be able to, like, just cheese it. Laura. 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 Daddykins? Laura. <laughs> do not come to me. The one who I am to become needs blood for the change to be complete. You have seen what he will do, and it is your blood that he wants most. Laura, we are cursed. In our veins flows the blood of Dracula. Oh my god, what a twist. D is for Dracula and not Dickhead? What the fuck? We are the heir. Of Dracula. I actually have no idea what we're doing here, by the way. I think we need to check all the walls and shit for, uh... For secrets, from what I remember here. We're gonna go all the way to the end, see if anything happens first. Oh shit, something is happening! Laura, Laura. No, oh, we're actually having another flashback. I think I found another one, guys. Flashbacks are like this, by the way. Cryptic bollocks with just like dead bodies and eyeballs and blood and stuff like that. I guess it's meant to show that we are vampire, have vampire blood and memories of vampires, and the desire to eat blood and drink blood is in our veins because we saw us eating like an ear or something earlier. It was like, mmm, delicious ear. So yeah, we're Dracula's cursed bloodline. Our dad is, I guessing, becoming Dracula, or I don't fucking know, something like that. Hopefully he'll reveal when we get to him, but we're not quite there yet. Well, we got a little uh, thing there, a little uh, flashback, very nice. I'm not controlling this, by the way. She's just taking fucking ages. Around the halfway point, I think we need to check the wall. If it lets me. Yeah, around here, probably. One of these walls is like a secret wall. I guess not that one. I'll try the other side, I don't actually know. I think we still have over an hour of game time. There you go. Now, if this was me, this is where I'd get really stuck if I was playing this like without a walkthrough. But as I'm not me, everything's gonna be fine. This is the last puzzle of the game. I think we're doing this right now. 
There we go. That was actually pretty easy. Even I could tell what was happening for me, fortunately. Alright guys, are you ready to find out the secret of the D? I am. I don't know about you guys. But we have made it in plenty of time. Alright, we get to choose an ending up here as well. And like I said, we'll uh, we'll reload and do both. Because I'm an amazing nomkin, as you know. I think this is a, uh, for what it is, this is a pretty good little game, by the way. Like, it would have been very, very short for the time it came out, but probably quite revolutionary in terms of, like, the way it plays. Like, I can't think of many games that play like this. Probably for good reason, because it's really fucking slow, but you know what I mean. The secret of the D. Dun, dun, dun. I think this is meant to be our mother here, by the way. Also known as Dacula, that I have no idea. <laughs> Imagine if the, you ran out of time just as you got here. I would lose my shit. Yeah, um, oh, I'd like to play D2. D2, I think, is much more involved than this, but I'm not entirely sure. Weird that it's on Dreamcast after this is on like, quite a few things. Not that I mind playing something on Dreamcast. Look at that eyeball. Look at that beautiful, sexy eyeball. Look at that. Laura. Hi, Dad. It's supposed to be Echo Night, but for some reason. Was there a guy sitting in a chair at the end of that? Dracula. The time of change comes to all of his blood. I guess they become vampires. With lust for the strange. Then comes the desire for human flesh to make the change complete. Yes, Laura. That time came for you as well. I erased the memory so you have forgotten. Ah. When Dracula took control of you. With those very hands, you killed your mother. Oh, shit! It is our fate to be accursed. And now you know you must leave. I feel myself changing. <laughs> Slightly redder. I love the zoom ins on her face. Oh my god, what the fuck? Your flesh, Laura. Listen to what I say. It is your flesh that I need, just as you needed your mother's. Come to me! Alright, well, we can choose endings here. The good ending we'll get first. And we're going to shoot Daddy Kins in the face. <laughs> Holy shit, this is funny. Alright, Dad. Love you. <laughs> wow, it's just a shit normal gun, by the way. Wow. 
What a pussy. She doesn't say a fucking word through the whole of this, by the way. She just gasps. Don't have to pay the voice actress if she doesn't say shit. Anyway. Pretzel, I agree. Best anime endings of all time. Now oh, we're back in the hospital. Look. Everything's phased back to normal. You can tell it's greyer than before. Oh my god, the resolution on that fucking face. But yeah, this game's uh, really easy to play, I will say. Like, it's a very simple game. There isn't really a lot to it. It's like an interactive storybook, right? Very old one, though, by these standards now. Alright, let's get the other ending. Alright, time to feed ourselves to Daddykins. There we go! Consume us! Consume us, Daddykins! Thank you, Laura. Now the transformation will be complete. But Laura, your body will not be wasted. Your flesh and blood will join with mine. And we wow. will live Hot. forever as Dracula. Ah, Laura! Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Is that the end? That shit! Oh, we can the chomping! Anyway, my thoughts on D. D is very fun. Um, I, there's, it's obviously a product of its time. It's cripplingly show, slow and was designed to run on basically a DVD player. Um, it's fine. Like, I liked it. It's very funny, <laughs> and I I thought overall it was just a silly little game. I'd love to check out the sequel sometime. The fact that the sequel to this even exists is astonishing, actually, if you ask me. Um, Alice, actually, I just realised, I, I said that I thanked patrons earlier for nominating this. Alice nominated this, and it won the poll, so thank you very much again to our producer, Alice. Make sure you check her out, because she is an amazing, beautiful, fantastic nomkin. And uh, yeah, consider pledging to our Patreon if you enjoy these long plays, you enjoy seeing these retro games. We're going to be like uh, cranking out more user-voted content over the next month or so. So uh, if that's uh, something you want to get involved in, five bucks or more on Patreon. Could do with three more subs this month to hit our goal at the time of recording. Anyway, um, that was D. 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 The most, the most interesting game. D. The most. <laughs> the most interesting game of them all. <laughs> anyway, see you soon, guys, for more stuff. Please drop a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't, if you want to see more retro horror and new horror, and uh, turn on those notifications, because it helps a lot. I'll see you guys later. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. <laughs>